New tonight, the price of one popular Christmas tree variety is going up, and a local seller wants his customers to know in advance. He knows a lot of people are going to be surprised when they're out shopping for that perfect tree. That's right. Paula Evan is back now, and Paula, this goes beyond trees. Yeah. It's true, David. It may be harder to find Christmas wreaths this year as well, and you can blame it on economics and the weather. This is a balsam, and this is a Fraser. At Pemberton Farms in Cambridge, Mark Sednoway got his first shipment of Christmas trees today. Uh, my family's been selling trees for us uh, back in the 30s, as first we first started. But this year, Mark is seeing prices go up. And it's this guy's fault right here, Fraser Fir. Fraser Fir is becoming the go to Christmas tree, edging out balsam. That's because of Fraser's blue underside and because it doesn't drop its needles as quickly. You give it the old needle test. Uh, they hold up a lot longer. But planting hasn't kept up with demand, in part because during the recession, growers cut back. And since it takes about 10 years for a tree to mature, they're behind. There was also an early frost in Canada where most of these trees are grown, which damaged a lot of them. People like myself have just allocated a certain amount, and the result is a price increase of over 30% for the trees. That means a seven foot Fraser will sell for about $80 at Pemberton Farms, while the same size balsam will go for $65. But the good news is you'll find plenty of balsams out there. And I just got word yesterday that there'll be a wreath shortage now as well. Heavy snow in Canada also means farmers can't get out to the trees to cut the branches for wreaths. So, of course, Christmas tree prices also depend on where you shop. Some big retailers we spoke with say that they're well stocked with Fraser Fur and that prices won't be much higher than last year. David and Lisa? Something just got me excited watching those Christmas trees, right? no matter what the price. Exactly. It's going to be cold enough, Eric said. Yeah. So, you know, maybe there'll be a run on trees this week. Are we getting in a good mood? I, I think it's happening. <laughs>